Well, hello everybody and uh, welcome to my 26th Excel 2013 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create line charts. Now line charts are a lot better for representing uh, continuous data rather than discrete data. You normally represent something over time or something like that. Um, and for that reason uh, I've created quite a few more uh, things for my x-axis so I've created it in months rather than quarters uh, and this is probably still even uh, not as many as you'd normally have in a line graph uh, the advantage of a line graph is because it usually works off of continuous data uh, rather than discrete data like like these locations um, if you don't know what discrete data so it just means that uh, there's set categories uh, rather than these which are months they'll, they'll continue on forever because um, once you get to here, it just goes back to January again. Uh, and similar with dates and numbers and things like that. Uh, whereas discrete data like this is just set th set different categories. Uh, so you always want to have some continuous data in your line graph. If we look at the description of it, uh, then it's going to say, uh, use this chart type to show trends over time or categories. Um, and as they've put in all categories, but really, if you're using it for categories, you're using it wrong. Um, yeah, so we're going to just highlight our data. Uh, we're going to include our months at the top, because that's what it's going to use as our headings. Uh, and then we're just going to click on here, and again, we'll go over the different types that we can use. Um, and we've got the type here, which is just a line, and then we've got stacked line, uh, and then we've got a 100% stack line. And then you can have data points on there if you want, which is quite often quite useful. Uh, and you can do 3D lines as well. Um, I'm just going to go with the normal one. Uh, and uh, I very, very, very rarely use the uh, other type, which is the stacked line and the 100% stack line, just because there's something called an area graph, uh, which I'll come on into the next tutorial. Um, which does the same thing but a lot better. Now I'm going to get rid of the title on this one. I don't. I, I'm not fussed about the title. I'm just going to delete it. Uh, not normally recommended, uh, but if you've got it in something else, then normally it makes sense. Uh, and then I'm just going to change my legend. I'm going to put it at the top instead of the title. Um, I quite like doing this with line graphs uh, or line charts, uh, just because. I think it looks a little bit tidier. I never like having my legend in the same place as one of my axes, so I hate having it on the left and I hate having it at the bottom, just because sometimes it gets a little bit confusing which is which. Now, here you see it's created me a line graph, so let's just analyze this quickly. Uh, so you can see over time how things are changing. So you can see that the orange, green, and yellow, which are Paris, London, and Berlin, the three European uh, cities, they're all fairly static. They're staying pretty much the same across the entire year. Uh, whereas these two lines here, which are Beijing and Delhi, uh, so our two Asian countries, uh, they're going to... Um, they're both rising up as we go across. Uh, and then finally we've got New York, so we've got America. That drops down very quickly uh, and then rises up a little bit. Again, this data is completely random, so please don't take any kind of meaning from it. I'm not representing anything. Uh, I've just literally typed in random numbers. Uh, I have tried to link the different locations around the world, so India and Beijing are close to each other, so I've tried to make them have the same trend, and, and Europe I've tried to make all the same. Uh, but it is it doesn't represent anything. Don't, don't start hating me for, for saying I'm trying to say something that I'm, that I'm not purely random data just to give you an idea of a line graph um, but yeah so that is the the line graphs um, you can uh, format your individual lines if you go to onto here and then your line uh, you can do kind of dash types and change it so that you have dots and things like that so we can put America in like that um, or New York in like that and then it just highlights that line a little bit more 
um, and kind of makes the other ones pop out a little bit better. Uh, you might want to make all of them like that. So if we select the next line, uh, an easy way to just copy it onto series is to press F4. It just repeats the last task that you've done. So if we select all the series and do that, then all of a sudden Beijing's really easy to see. Uh, so if we wanted to look at just Beijing and how it compares to others, that might be something that you want to do. Anyway, that's going to be it for line charts. I'm not going to go into the stacked line charts or the 100% stacked line charts because as I already said, it, I, I prefer using the area graphs. And so I'll come on to those in the next tutorial. So thanks for listening. If you like the video, please leave a like. And if you really liked it, then please subscribe uh, and I'll catch you next time.